When we last saw our repositories, our local repository had two branches, and our remote repository had copies of those two branches. When a task is complete, we want to merge the branch for the completed task into our main branch. How do we merge in our branches? We first create a PR, or pull request. We use a pull request to request that a branch be pulled into the main branch for the project. After appropriate code reviews and any integration tasks, like running tests, the PR can be approved. In a team project, these steps may be done by several team members. On our own projects, we approve our PRs. We use the PR to merge the branch into main and optionally delete the branch. Let's create a pull request and merge our branch into main. We are on GitHub looking at our Pet Cafe repository. Notice that GitHub knows about the recent commits to our branches and suggests comparing the changes and creating a pull request. We normally do that when we are finished with the task. We have finished one of our tasks, the bug xs exclamations. So let's create a pull request for that one. Click the button here. We see an open a pull request form so we can create the pull request. It provides a default PR name and we can provide additional comments if necessary. Most projects have an expected set of additional information that should be provided, such as steps to replicate the issue, a link to an issue ticket, tests performed on the change, and so on. If you are on a team or open source project, be sure to check the project documentation before submitting a PR. Notice the top of the request. It indicates that we want our exclamations branch merged into the main branch. GitHub checks both of these branches. It determines that we are able to merge with no conflicts. Scrolling down, we click Create Pull Request here at the bottom. We're now looking at the pull request. Notice in the project menu, we now have one pull request to find in the repository. Scrolling down, we see that we have no continuous integration set up and that the branch has no conflicts. At this point, it would be good to assign a reviewer for a code review and set up continuous integration to run our code tests. For our purposes, we can assume we've done all of that and are ready to merge our changes. Since we own this repository, we can merge the pull request. Scrolling down, we have three merge options. We can merge the commits from this branch to the main branch. All of the commits are then added to the main branch. Depending on the project and number of commits, this is often not desired. Instead, we can squash the branch commits into a single merge commit. This can be useful if you have numerous commits on a branch, but want it to show up in the main branch as one commit. The last option is to rebase. Rebasing gives you more control over how the commits are merged, but it can be complex. We only have one commit on this branch, so let's select the first option and click the button to merge the pull request. Click again to confirm. The merge is complete and the pull request is closed. We now have the option to delete the remote branch. We don't need it anymore, so we'll click to delete it. Scrolling back up, we see we no longer have an open pull request. As always, click on the repository name to return to the repository page. At the top, it reminds us that we still have another branch ongoing. We could issue a pull request for that as well, but we haven't finished that task yet. We'll get back to that shortly. Going back to VS Code, note that we are still on the bug xs exclamations branch. We deleted that branch from our remote repository, but syncing with remote won't delete our local copy of the branch. We'll have to do that ourselves. We can't delete a branch we are on, so let's click the branch and change to the main branch. Then use the three dots here and select Branch, Delete Branch. Pick to delete the bug xs exclamations branch. Gone. Now let's go back to the slides. So, 
When we are finished with a branch in GitHub, we create a pull request for that branch, merge that branch back into the main remote branch, and delete that branch from the remote repo. Syncing between the local and remote won't delete the local branch, so we manually delete it. But things aren't always that straightforward. Next up, let's look at merge conflicts.